Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a soil mechanics type of problem, and uh, here's what the question says. In particular, we're going to be talking about some soil properties. Uh, the question says, calculate the group index of a soil that has the following characteristics. LL, liquid limit, is 53. PL, plastic, uh, plastic limit, sorry, is 23. And then we have the sieve size, number four, number 10, number 100, and number 200, and the percent passing. Uh, so basically they sent a sample of soil through a sieve analysis, and this is what uh, they came up with. And we are uh, tasked with determining the group index. And so if we're looking for some reading material in the FE manual, we're going to be talking in the version 10.2 at the time of this video. They may change uh, versions by the time you're watching this, so this is going to be in the civil engineering section, so civil ENG for short, uh, and we're going to be in page 266. And then if you're taking the PE exam, we're going to be in version uh, 10, or sorry, 1.1, and this is going to be in chapter 3, or geotechnical, I'm just going to write geotech for short, and uh, we're going to be in page 125. Page 125. All right, and uh, whenever you go on that page, you're going to find that the GI, the group index, is equal to the F200 minus 35. This is in parentheses here. Uh, and that's going to be multiplied by 0.2 plus 0 0.005 times the liquid limit minus 40 and then uh, we add if I can do this here add 0 0.01 times the F200 minus 15 times the PI <laughs> uh, minus 10 alright so an earful right there, uh, but it's actually simpler than you think. It's just plug and chug. And we're basically given everything that we really need. Uh, what we need to do is solve for the PI. That's the plasticity index. And PI, this is a good thing to memorize here. PI is your liquid limit minus your plastic limit. So PL. Uh, and this is going to be equal to 53 minus 23. So that's the numbers that were given to us in the problem. This is going to be 30. So that's your PI there that we plug in. Uh, F, F is actually, or sorry, F200 is going to be the percent passing. So we're going to use that 12 right there. And uh, and we're given everything else, the, the liquid limit. We can plug that in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, to help you pass your FE and PE exams the first time. And so with that said, our liquid limit is going to be 53. We're going to subtract 40 from that per the formula. And we add 0 0.01. And we multiply F200. That's going to be 12 minus 15. And we multiply the PI that we came up with. So 30 minus 10. And, um, we actually end up with a negative number. You end up with negative 6.695. And so notice we end up with a negative. That's not really one of our answers, right? A through D, there's not a negative 6, negative 7 anywhere on there. And the reason why is because a negative is actually close to zero. Uh, it's actually considered zero with your group index. And a group index of zero actually means the soil is a good subgrade. It's good material for a subgrade. Uh, within its particular group. And so that's that's basically how that's done. And so our answer is going to be A. So I hope this video helps. We'll catch you next time.